Hi, I'm Bill Easterwood of Yar North America. I'm the Director of Agronomic Services based in Tampa, Florida. I'm here today to report to you on some significant research findings regarding citrus fertilization. During 1999, the University of Florida published a paper on nitrogen form and citrus response. Swingle and Cleopatra seedlings were grown in nutrient solutions that contained either all ammonium or all nitrate forms of nitrogen. They found the following. One, ammonium nitrogen decreased growth of seedling shoots, leaves, and roots with increasing concentration. Two, nitrate nitrogen increased growth of seedling shoots, leaves, and roots with increasing concentration. Three, they obtained scientific proof that the findings were the result of ammonium toxicity relating to the plant's inability to rapidly metabolize ammonium nitrogen. Hence, it accumulates in the plant and becomes toxic. We at Yara were shocked by the report and decided to conduct an in-depth study with researchers in Brazil. The study duration was eight years. We believe a long-term field study was necessary to confirm the results and to observe if ammonium toxicity occurred in soil where nitrification, which is the conversion of ammonium to nitrate by soil bacteria, reduced its influence. It did not. From the yield data, we see a suppression of tree growth and fruit yield with increasing ammonium nitrate fertilizer rate. With calcium nitrate, we observed optimal tree growth and statistically significant economic yield. Ammonium nitrate treated trees showed signs of ammonium toxicity even at lower rates of application. Note the poor canopy with less shoot and leaf growth of the ammonium nitrate treated tree on the left. You can see through the tree to the next row compared to the full canopy of calcium nitrate treated trees. Health and growth are critical. Ammonium nitrate with high ammonium concentration in the soil solution and lower pH reduce root growth compared to calcium nitrate. The results seen by Yara and the University of Florida were supported by chemical analysis. We found the following. The ammonium nitrate soil solution pH was 3.5 and too acidic for nitrification compared to the near neutral pH of calcium nitrate. The ammonium nitrogen in the ammonium nitrate soil solution was high compared to the low levels for calcium nitrate. Ammonium nitrogen concentrations were at toxic levels in the shoot sap with ammonium nitrate, but were very low with calcium nitrate. The higher fruit yields were obtained when the nitrate to ammonium ratio of the sap extract was 8.5 to 1, similar to the calcium nitrate composition. Now, nutrition and disease. Calcium binds cell walls together like glue as calcium pectate. Without the calcium glue, cells are free to move apart and create disorders such as blossom in rot of melon or pill splitting in citrus. Without the glue, the susceptibility of pathogen attack also increases. Ammonium nitrogen stimulates fungal pathogens such as Fusarium and Phytophthora. Fusarium with ammonium addition produces toxins that can destroy citrus feeder roots leaving only scaffold roots. Toxin production from ammonium nitrate is shown in lanes A and B. Calcium nitrate does not stimulate nor generate toxin development as seen in lane C, but increases root growth. Adequate calcium and potassium are needed for initiation of plant protection mechanisms like a hypersensitive response or reactive oxygen species. For a hypersensitive response, the pathogen and tissue around the pathogen are destroyed by the plant. For a reactive oxygen species, a burst of hydrogen peroxide is released near the pathogen by the plant to destroy it. Here are two examples. On the right is USDA research where they injected the pathogen Pseudomonas syringae and then observed the plant destroy the pathogen and tissue surrounding the pathogen. 
On the left is one of Yara's studies where a young grapefruit tree contracted canker, but it was destroyed by the plant in a very similar manner to the tobacco pathogen. Currently, we cannot prove it was a hypersensitive response, but the responses were very similar. Please note that when calcium nitrate is applied, there is adequate available calcium in the cell sap as seen from our Brazilian study for pathogen control by reactive oxygen species or hypersensitive response. Nutrition can play a significant role in Florida citrus industry until a genetic answer to HLB is found. We see hope for the future based on the aerial photographs of a very innovative grower with 100% HLB infection who changed his nitrogen fertilizer to all calcium nitrate during 2010. Please note the circled weak spots in 2010 and the full tree growth in 2012. His fruit yields have now returned to near pre-HLB levels with excellent psyllid management, nutrient cocktails, and Yaraliva calcium nitrate. We present this video to you today because we feel it's very important that the knowledge gained from University of Florida and Yara research be presented to you during this critical time of HLB infection and the time required for a genetic alternative to be developed. We thank you for visiting with us today.